What? What? What are you doing? Well, yes, we were going for lunch today. Okay. I hop. Oh. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to episode. Oh no, I 18. forgot to look. Eighteen, episode think, 18, eighteen of the band office. We can't ever keep track. It's too we'll many. We'll check afterwards. And we think it's eighteen. Getting close to twenty. We are twentieth. Also, be a big one. I think sometime around right now is our one year anniversary. Wow. One year uh-huh. old. The band, the band office. office. Crazy. We started this oh, a year ago. So cool. I'm not sure if that was a good idea or not, <laughs> but whatever. All right, we're gonna get started with some news. First up in the news, we're going to recap this week's events. We had a busy couple days with our Region 25 band UIL concert and sight reading evaluations. We did a great job. Um, Wind Ensemble did awesome, played absolutely great. We didn't get the rating we were hoping for, but they did a fantastic job. Awesome so, 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 so stinking good. proud so good. of their performance and uh, we won't talk about the other stuff that I don't agree with. But anyway, and they did great on Sire Reading. They did get yeah. a one in Sire Reading. Got two on stage, which is excellent. Um, not quite what we wanted, but that's all that's right. Okay. Big congratulations to Symphonic Band and Concert Band. Got yep. sweepstakes, a one on stage, and a one in Sire Reading. So, same. so proud of those guys. Yeah, proud of all of you guys. Absolutely. You did absolutely did great. great. Had some fun at IHOP, which Oop. we're going to revisit here in a second. Oh, boy. And uh, it was a good time. So, awesome. Onward and upward. The next event that our 7th and 8th grade students should be prepping for is going to be our solo contest, which will be on April 29th. April 29th. April at 29th. Haggard. At Haggard Middle Haggard School. School. Make Haggard sure you get School. registered ASAP. 7th, 8th grade only, not 6th graders. 6th graders, you got some stuff coming up uh, at the end of April and in, April. in May. Yeah. Um, with your concerts and a little solo festival. And then finally, we want to say a big welcome and hello to our new band members, our fifth graders, fifth grade families uh, joining us, hopefully watching this. We are actually going to have a meeting with you guys in just a yeah, little yeah, bit, a in about an hour. Minutes, yeah. um, so, so excited to welcome you to the Schimmel Finnick Band family and welcome to this weird thing is that we do <laughs> every few weeks. Uh, but we're we're looking forward to meeting you and helping Absolutely. you meeting. We're looking forward Mating. to meeting. We're Mating. gonna meet yeah. you. We're looking forward to meeting you and welcoming you to the Schimmelfinnick Band family very soon and picking an instrument soon. How All fun! Right. And that's it for the news. I'm a little afraid to ask. What's your favorite, most comfortable shoe? Well, I have these shoes. No, oh, please and they don't. They have little holes no. in them around. No, 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 no! This is why we can't have nice things. Well, I'm going to rant for a second, and anybody that's been in any of my classes and worn a pair of Crocs knows my feelings on them. I don't understand Crocs. I don't. Everybody says they're comfortable. They just look like plastic. Plastic shoes with holes in them. What good are shoes with holes in them? What if you spill something? And I know all you people in middle school, you spill stuff all the time. Why would you wear shoes with holes in them? Why would you wear plastic shoes? How are they not sweaty? I don't understand. It makes no sense. I think y'all crazy. How many pairs of Crocs in your house? Just one. Well, that's good. At least your wife is I'll smart. I'll get my wife some Crocs. No. They'll be our stocking gosh. stuffer next year. Nothing. Look, if you like Crocs, fine. I just don't understand. I'm ranting about my not understanding your liking of bad shoes. What about at the beach? Wear sandals. Wear flip. I don't even really like sandals and flip flops. Those are awful too. I don't get it. Just wear shoes. What's wrong with shoes? Well, Crocs are shoes. I. <clears throat> Up next, it's time for an IHOP version of Ooh, Mr. IHop. Scott and the Gummy Bear Reviews. Gummy bears bouncing here and there and everywhere. Okay, Mr. Scott, for today's Gummy Bear Reviews, we are going to do another gut check. This time, with uh, we're going to you are going to rate on a scale of one to one hundred gummy bears. Okay. The various or some of the various IHOP dishes that we saw our students order the past couple days. 
at our IHOP trips after we went to UIL. So all of these things, we saw you people eat. We saw you eat them. So we took, Some of you ate a lot of them. We took roughly 120 students. 120 students to IHOP. IHOP. 120 people ordered. Yes, okay, right. and we saw most, the, okay. these are the most frequently okay. items right, I you, saw, you. other than just like plain pancakes. One to 100. So one to 100. Right. Here we go. Let's right. start it off with, I don't know why, a Belgian waffle. Ooh, five. Oh, okay. not, a waffle, <laughs> not a fan of waffles. The breakfast sampler, which includes eggs, ham, bacon, sausage, hash browns, pancakes, and French toast. I saw it. I would say 78. 78. Chocolate chip, chocolate oh, pancakes. No, that's a chocolate, bad. I chocolate. See that Those, they kind of looked like something that comes out of a cow yeah, and not yeah. milk. Uh-uh. Oh, man, that's like a four. four. I saw that, too. <laughs> that person the over there was the there. classic cheeseburger. What I saw didn't look great, so a 47. Sorry to our chaperone who we ate lunch with who yeah. ate a cheeseburger. <laughs> what did you say, 47? Yeah, she might agree with me. She's going to click unsubscribe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. The classic pancake combo, which includes eggs, hash browns, bacon, and pancakes. Okay. I think uh, that's actually what I had. Yeah, I think that's what you had. I actually looked pretty decent, so I'll give it a 82. 82. The Bacon Temptation Omelet. I don't really know how to describe it. It oh. was an omelet with a whole lot of bacon and uh. some kind of sauce. I'm not much on bacon, so I'm going to give that a 22. 22. Yeah. Uh, the Cowboy Burger, which was basically a cheeseburger with barbecue sauce and onion rings on it. Okay. Uh, 61. Uh, the Cupcake Pancakes. Is that with the sprinkles Like on confetti top? and yeah, sprinkles. Confetti. Yeah, Oh, that actually looked pretty good. Uh, 88. 88. Anything with sprinkles makes me happy. Anything with sprinkles. Uh, then we have, from the kids' menu, the Kraft Mac and Cheese. I did see that. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, it looked pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to go a I strong, a strong 92 on 92. that one. <laughs> yep. It did look pretty good. <laughs> I swear, if this is the highest. Uh, uh, then we saw a couple of our friends right across from us one day order this. The matza sticks. Not mozzarella sticks. <laughs> not cheese sticks. <laughs> matza sticks. Uh, when they pulled the cheese apart, it looked like, like Elmer's glue coming <laughs> across. So I'm going to give that a solid 12. 12. Uh, the Philly cheese steak sandwich <laughs> and fries. <laughs> From IHOP, the International House of Pancakes. With Philly cheesesteak, uh, 10. 10. <laughs> uh, let's see. The split decision, which is eggs, bacon, sausage, French toast, and pancakes. I am a French toast person. I love French toast, so uh, 61. 61. The strawberry banana crepes. I don't like crepes. Don't like crepes. So. Six. <laughs> but you like them more than waffles. <laughs> and then finally, the one that shocked us the most, I believe. It is called the Big Steak Omelette. Uh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> we saw a few of these. We saw a few of these get eaten completely by one person, by like individuals. It was big and it was covered in stuff. It was big. Man, it looked disgusting. It did look a little <laughs> disgusting. Uh, two. <laughs> <laughs> right below the waffle. <laughs> okay, right below the waffle. <laughs> All right, we're going to tally these up, and we'll be right back with Mr. S Maybe not his favorite, but his least favorite Ugh. items from IHOP. All right, and we're back. <laughs> we're going to start with Mr. Scott's favorite items. Uh, coming in at number three. Oh. Number three, uh, we've got the classic pancake combo. Solid mm. choice. Yep. Pancakes, eggs, bacon. It's hard to go or, wrong. I got with, ham. I yeah, said the ham. Looked good. Yeah, hard Hash to go browns. wrong with that kind of stuff. It was yeah. good. It was yeah. in the right amount. Mm. Coming in at number two, uh, another solid. Actually, I don't know about this choice. That's not my thing. But the cupcake pancakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything with sprinkles like, makes it better. Okay. And then <laughs> <laughs> coming in at number one. With the score of 92 gummy bears, 92 gummy bears from the International House of Pancakes, we have the one and only Blue Box Kraft Mac and Cheese. No, no, no. <laughs> Confetti. I don't even understand. That with I, they don't even make it. They just mix legit. it with sprinkles. <laughs> yeah, add sprinkles. I hope if you could add sprinkles to the Kraft Mac yeah. and Cheese, that'd be great. Um, and then just for fun, right. Mr. Scott's bottom three, mm. uh, third from the bottom. Third from being the least favorite, or it was the Belgian waffle. Not just, a not, not a waffle, a waffle fan. Not I a do waffle like fan. Waffle House is waffle. Waffle House, that's a solid. See, we all do Waffle House. Mm, no. Waffle House but, not big enough for the band. Maybe no. just us though. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good. Scattered covered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, then, just below Belgian waffle, we have the chocolate chocolate chip pancakes. That just which, looked. Um, 
And judging by how many people didn't finish it, I'm not sure it tasted great. Yeah. But hey, what do I know? And then finally, his the, the thing he would order least from anything on the menu, the big steak. I don't blame him. No. It's a little scary looking. So there you go. Uh, real quick, um, this didn't go so well, IHOP. We really do like you, and yeah, we appreciate great. you serving our, our children the Thank last you. two days. You did a great job. Uh, we would, we, we're going to plan on keep coming back. You're welcome to sponsor this episode at any time. Uh, we'll pick some Probably other items. So. <laughs> I don't think you will. I think we may have lost yeah. them. And we'll come back, though. All right. Oops. <laughs> and finally, it's time for a Disney music-themed version of... Do the director. All right. So for today's duel of the directors, we are going to play the random Disney song marimba challenge, which I kind of just made up the title. I like it. So the way it's going to work, we're going to uh, hit a little button on the iPad that's going to give us a random Disney song. Okay. And it's the person, the person who knows the song. It's their job to play it on the marimba. We have never played any of these songs. We don't know any of the music. We barely know how to play the marimba. No, we know how to play the marimba. Yeah, sort, sort of. of. Um, and it's the other person's job to guess what song it is. Okay. If they guess, they get a point. Okay. The second round, we'll have a little surprise. And then the third round, another surprise. So... Okay. Here we go. Round one. All right. I have no idea. Okay. Oh, I think I know it. I got it. I got it. What can I say except you're welcome? What can you're I welcome. say yeah, except you're welcome? I have no idea. Nice. I got it. <laughs> you just gotta go with it. Ooh, that was bad. Give me a hint. Uh, a bunch of animals. Jungle Book? No. <laughs> it's animals. No. Lion King. Lion King. Akuna Matata. Akuna Matata. What a wonderful. <laughs> it was Akuna Matata. <laughs> that was bad. Man. Ooh, that was not good. Uh, that was not good. All right. Playing the wrong key. And yeah. now, <laughs> for round two, we're going to add a special extra twist. The person playing the song has to do it blindfolded. Oh, brother. Here we go. It might actually make me. As you can see, I can't. <laughs> I love that joke. That's good. All the time. I love yeah. that joke. Okay. Um, there it is. Uh, okay. Ready. Still Do Disney, right? It's still Disney. Perfect. Yes. Be our guest. Be our guest. Yes. Hey, yes, be our yes, guest. Yes, yes, yes. Nice job. As you can see, he can't. <laughs> it's so fun. It is. All right, ready? Yep. Oh, <laughs> I got stuck underneath. <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. <laughs> I want to go up, but I can't because I'm going down instead. This is <laughs> so bad at this. Oh, man. Oh, dude. That's I have no idea. Oh. It's supposed to be Robin Hood and Little John walking through the forest. I don't think the kids would even body. know that. <laughs> oh, Robin Hood? All right. For the grand finale, we got an audience participation round. Yes. It's time for you to guess what we are doing. I'll get the background music background ready. Background music? Percussion section. Ready? Here we go. I didn't hit play.
They don't know what that is. Maybe. <laughs> And that's a wrap for episode 18. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Sorry, Miss Kennard. Oh. We ran out of time again. We actually saved a little time for you, but you weren't here. Yep. We checked. You weren't oh, there. You weren't your there. office door was closed. You were gone. Closed. Sorry. Car. Bye bye. That was your chance. We'll try again next time. Until then, welcome to the fifth graders. So excited to see you guys and meet you soon. Everybody else, remember rule number one, and we'll see you next time. Bye. bye. Okay, Croc shoes are made from cross light. A closed cell resin made from polymer. Wait, are you telling me that the name Crocs actually comes from <laughs> yeah, the material yeah, they're made so, of? Yeah. Whoa. This, this soft material is scratch resistant along with being slip resistant. The materials that Crocs are made out of consist of cross light, which is neither rubber nor plastic. So the name actually has a... Uh, yeah, I think Whoa. so. I still don't like them. <laughs> testing, testing, one, two, three. Are you coming? What are you... <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you coming? <laughs>